today I'm going to show you how to make a fabulous, delicious, low carb soul food dinner. So let's get to cooking. You can see the pig feet I have here, split pig feet, and I have a bag of shredded collard greens. Sometimes the greens in the bag will look better in the store than the fresh ones. Sometimes your store may not even have fresh greens. This is a 32 ounce bag, so two pound bag. Oh, collard greens is 11 servings, which means two and a half cups of greens is a serving. It has 15% of the daily needed calcium, and you can use this to cook it the way we do soul food style, or you could use it in smoothies. Lots of great options. However you consume your greens, you want to wash them first. Even though most of the bags say that they've been triple washed, a lot of food producers rewash with dirty water. So to me, that doesn't count in washing it. So wash it yourself with white vinegar and water. So we're going to cook these in the instant pot, but first I'm going to use some thick cut bacon. So in my instant pot, I'm going to use the saute function and I'm going to saute my bacon right in my instant pot pan. That way I get all the nice bacon bits and the fat from the bacon to season my greens with. So to fry the bacon, I'm only going to saute it for about six minutes and then I'll add more time if I need to. My bacon is in the bottom of the pan. While that's going, I soak my greens and then lift them up out of the bowl of water to drain them in a colander and rinse them. And then I soak them again. For greens that I buy in a bag, I usually do this process twice. If I buy fresh greens, then I may need to do it four or five times because it will have more dirt in the bottom of the bowl. So use your best judgment. You can see how clear that water was. My bacon is still sauteing. It finished the six minutes that I had it on or was it seven minutes but I need more time for my bacon because I like it cooked through more and I want it to render more oil so I put it on for four more minutes and this is completely okay you can adjust cooking time as needed I'm adding oil olive oil because I didn't get enough fat from my bacon so the bacon fat that I do have will season the oil and the oil will be used to help flavor my greens as well as keep them from scorching the bottom of my pan so as my minutes go on, you can see my bacon is getting cooked to a delicious crispy point. I added in some chopped onions. You can add in onions, you can add in garlic. Just be careful that you don't burn either. You just want them to saute and soften. Once that happens for a couple of minutes, then you can go ahead and add your greens in. Now I'm gonna saute my collard greens. I love to saute greens before I actually cook them in the instant pot because it cuts down on the amount of time it needs to pressure cook, but it also helps to infuse the greens with the delicious flavor we already rendered from the bacon and the onions. If you want to skip the step of sauteing your greens, you can. You just may need to pressure cook to get it to the same tenderness that I like. Seasonings I'm using include onion powder, garlic powder, light salt, black pepper. Vinegar is often used by many people to season their greens, and I'm doing that here as well. Now, you'll notice that I am cooking this with the bacon still in it. If you want your bacon to remain crispy when you serve this dish, then be sure to take your take your bacon pieces out and save them to the side so that you can crunch them up at the end of the cooking process. So for now, I'm just going to add my seasonings, including onion powder my garlic powder, parsley, my salt, my black pepper, you want to season to taste. I'm pretty liberal with all of my seasonings except for the salt and pepper. I like to just do a little in the beginning and then taste it and at the end I add more as needed. I'm stirring in the seasonings and cooking, sauteing with the seasonings will also help those seasoning flavors to bloom and to enrich in. So that's another is that a word enriching to enrich and so that's another reason why I like to saute the greens with the seasonings and I added my greens in in batches just so that I could get a good saute on them now that all the greens are in I added more seasoning at the end including liquid smoke I like the nice smoky flavor if you've seen any of my other vegetables you know that this liquid smoke is a staple in my kitchen and you can also notice how the greens are cooking down as they are sauteing in the pot so after 10 minutes, this is how my collard greens and bacon look. I'm adding some stock to my pan because I always add stock when I'm cooking in the Instant Pot to help the pressure rise. I'll start off with about a cup, but if I need more, then I can add it. I just don't want it to be super saturated with liquid. But I did end up just adding that last little bit and it was completely fine. So I just gave that a basic stir and now it's time to turn on the pressure cook function. You wanna make sure you're cooking this on high pressure. Collard greens can be cooked in 12 minutes, but like I said, my family likes them super, super soft, so food style, so I just did 21 minutes. While that's going, I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is to clean my pig feet. They have been soaking in water 
with lemon, you can see how clear and clean the pig foot looks. This is the little bit of meat that's on it. A pig's foot is mostly skin and bones, but it will render a gelatinous consistency that many people find to have health benefits for them to eat. You'll notice that I'm using my small paring knife to clean in between the toes. I also scrape back and forth on the foot itself. Sometimes there is hair here that hasn't been cleared off and then I dip it in my water to rinse it and then I move it to the next bowl. So you can look in between the toes to see if there looks like there's any gunk. I really didn't notice much on these but I still make sure to go back and forth with my knife just because I don't like the consistency of tasting a piece of meat that has hair on it or a piece of skin rather. So go through and here you can actually see the hair. So by wiggling my knife in between the toes, I can get rid of that piece. If your knife isn't working, you can also use some kitchen shears or just pluck it out. And y'all look at this water. This is why we clean our meat before we eat it. We just don't want that gunk in the pot when we're cooking. Now I'm getting a clean pot and I'm adding fresh water to it in order to boil it on the stove. And this is just part one, that is parboiling. So stay tuned to hear the rest of the steps for the pig feet. In the meantime, my collard greens have finished. So I changed the lever to venting to get all the pressure out and look at our beautiful collard greens, y'all. Cook down in under 30 minutes when we add the pressure cook time and the saute time, much quicker than cooking on the stove. Now. This is the parboiled pig feet. Look at all that gunk and foam that's rising to the surface. It is very important to boil your pig feet one time to release all of this gunk and then we're gonna drain it. I have cold water running in the background so that this hot water in the back of the sink so that this hot water going down my drain doesn't damage any PVC pipes that I have. I'm going to rinse off these parboiled pig feet You'll notice you can see some of the meat and skin shrinking back from the bone, indicating that it has been cooked or boiled for a period of time, but it's nowhere near done cooking. I'm just rinsing off any of the impurities or gunk, the brown bits that come off. Some people don't do this, and that's why you got to be careful who you eat from. You can't just eat soul food from everybody's kitchen and assume it's going to be clean to the standards you prefer. The seasonings we're going to use for our pig feet include vegetable broth, liquid smoke, Seasoned salt, black pepper, poultry seasoning, paprika, bay leaves, complete seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and white vinegar. I cleaned out my Instant Pot after I took the collard greens out. I have about two cups of vegetable broth that I'm putting into the bottom of my Instant Pot. And then next I'm going to add in my seasoning so that we can add in our pig feet. So I'm starting with the liquid smoke, the sea salt, all of the seasonings that I just showed you. I keep wondering if I should get two instant pots so that I could cook a meat and a green at the same time in two different pots. I mean, that seems kind of excessive to me, but it would help things go a little bit quicker. So I added a little, about a half a cup more of water just to bring it to an even two cups of liquid. When I pressure cook pig feet, I like my liquid to come up about halfway to the level of my pig feet. So I'm just eyeballing it until I get all of my pig feet in. Now I notice that I do need to add a little bit more broth or water in order to get it up to the suitable level. I like to add a little bit of hot sauce for flavor. Hot sauce has vinegar in it, so it has a nice tang. The amount I use here will not make it hot or spicy. I also add some chopped onion. If you have a chopped bell pepper, you could also use that. Because my family like our pig feet soft, I am going to pressure cook these on high for 50 minutes. You can do this in 35 minutes, but I'm doing 50. I let the Instant Pot sit on natural release for 40 minutes while I was busy doing other stuff. You can do that or not. Either way, your pig feet will be cooked in the 50 minutes. And look at how it looks, y'all. Absolutely delicious. The pig feet are cooked. You can see that it's mostly pulling up away from that big bone and what I like to do so no one has a serving of a big bone is to pull out some of those bones before I actually serve it so we like it soft but the pig feet to still hold its shape as you see here now these are the big bones I pulled out. I just wiggled them out of the pig foot with tongs and you'll see that it came off pretty easily. This way, when a person is eating this on their plate, they don't have just a big plate of bones, right? So look at how easy the bone pulls out. That's how you know that these are cooked down tender. And yeah, I discarded that. People season their pig feet with extra vinegar salt or hot sauce. It's personal choice. And look at our greens. I reheated them. 
since it's been about an hour and a half or so since I cooked these and they are absolutely tender and smoking hot with that bacon in it. And then I plated up a few of the pig feet, y'all, and look at how delicious this looks. If you're a soul food eater, then you will appreciate some juicy, flavorful pig feet cooked in an instant pot. In a fraction of the time it would take you to stew these on your stove or in your oven. This winter, be sure to use my recipe to make you some absolutely fabulous pig feet and collard greens in your pressure cooker. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.